Hi, this is Miss Lawanda from AsTheWindBlows.org, and today I'm going to be doing a product review for CurlPrep.com, um, their Sweet Butter Elongates and Define Cream. Now, this review is not on their behalf, it's um, for their product. I received the Sweet Butter from the um, Curl Kit. And so um, I'm going to do a review of it. Now, I currently have a four-day-old um, twist out that I did um, with the Cocoa Curls, which I really love. Um, I'll insert photos of what it looked like fresh. But this is about four days old, and I have it. I, last night I didn't um, put it in a ponytail or tie it up or anything so I think it still is pretty good I could have got away with it more you know with a little refresher but I wanted to try this sweet butter and see how it does on my hair now I'm not going to wash my hair over um, but I'm going to completely wet it down and here let's try to get a little I may try some on, do some dry too, so we can see the difference between the wet and dry. But I think that um, wet is what is supposed to be able to show you exactly what this cream can do because it's supposed to keep, help you with shrinkage. So I'm just going to start with this section here. Um, with the shrinkage. So I get a lot of shrinkage because I mostly do my twist outs wet and I'm okay with the shrinkage so that's why I don't really do them on dry hair because if it shrinks up that's good because the longer it is for me the more aggravating it gets on my neck and stuff when it's so hot here and it's like 100 degrees every day it seems like so I really that's fine so here we let me wet this back a little bit more so we can see okay so here with my hair wet with just water you'll see it goes a little bit up under the neck if I pull it and without pulling it here it is so if we were trying not to get in any shrinkage I guess this would be the length that I should expect to have here right at the front okay so I'm gonna take the sample the sweet butter it's about how much I have on my finger start at the root and just go down my hair is so thick I always put it behind my hair because it's so thick make sure it penetrates all the way through now I believe their sweet butter you can just do wash and goes with um, I'm not really a big fan of wash and goes but let's just see if just having the sweet butter but tuh, uh, I'm mistaken. If it elongates what we saw from before. Wow, look at that. Compared to here's wet over here. And of course it hasn't dried, I just wet it. But look at here with the sweet butter right there. Hmm. Wow, I wasn't expecting it. and see what happens with a twist. I 
Uh, this remember, this is just a sweet butter, no leave-in on damp. I wouldn't say my hair is soaking wet, you know, you don't see anything dripping. But it's definitely was saturated through. in three and then I'm going to try three on the other side on dry hair now the three on the other side um, it will have you know some of the product remaining from when I had the cocoa curls but like I said this is a, my hair four days old and I never reapplied the cocoa curls that's one thing I like about it I don't have to keep putting product in there but we'll see what the sweet butter does chunkier that one looks those two those down there. I'm not gonna clip the roots or anything I'm gonna let it do what it wanna do which I normally do anyway okay so here's our th three twists the damp here. Okay. Now I'm going to take this section over here. Take out a bit of a section. Really should have had a clip. I don't have a, get a clip nearby. No, but I do have a comb. So I'll just take this comb and push that hair over there. Okay, so here's how my hair looks with nothing in it this old twist out and I'm going to take this and uh, try to make three twists on this side on dry hair using the sweet butter. Three here on the damped hair and three on the dry and the twists themselves look really nice. You can see the sheen as you all saw that the curl pattern was definitely uh, more defined. Let's talk about the actual cream itself while we wait to see what happens. Now the smell. I would say it's a little bit tropical. Kind of smells like a, a yogurt. Okay, but it's very pleasant. There's nothing that um, has a bad smell. 
I haven't been on their site, so I'm not sure of the price point, but I will add the price point. Um, it's not sticky or gooey, but it does seem to leave a bit of a film on my fingers. Um, nothing that's a big deal. But that makes me think that there's some form of oil or something that would probably really give good moisture to my hair. Because I, I, I feel something there. And they say if it really is creamy on your hands and stuff and it's moisturizing your hands. And if you can see, well you probably can't tell them. Well there's my fingertips. You can see that my hands seem moisturized. But not greasy. It might look Hi guys, I'm back. Well, my hair is completely dry over here on this side. And of course, this is the side that I did on dry hair. And as you can see, the lengths are the same. And um, on wet hair, I never have the same length as I do on dry hair. So now let's take the twist loose, okay? This is on the wet side. are the ones done on damp hair and here's the dry okay so as you can see the curl definition is amazing look at those beautiful twists it's the same length, the damp side versus the dry side. And um, let's take a couple of twists apart if I took them and made them fuller. See if I took these apart. Look at that, they just still don't look dry. I never usually do that. Not the first time, usually I'll just pull it from the root and just kind of keep the bottom intact like that. But, I mean, I really like it. And my hair is completely dry. And there you are. Let's see how it looks underneath. Look at that. I wanted to do a pomodoro. How pretty that would be. So I'm going to say, for the sweet butter that I think it it goes with the claims it has elongated the curl I have the same length that I had for the damp hair as for dry hair and it made beautiful curls the hair is not dry in any way shape or form so I would have to give this a thumbs up so as the wind blows it says that the curl prep sweet butter is worth trying and on their website I did browse it and for the size that I had the um okay where is it here it is the one ounce sample five dollars and it includes the shipping oh, I'm sorry it includes the shipping I think that's worth it what do you guys think please leave your comments and your thoughts if you've ever tried the sweet butter or any other uh, curl prep products, let me know.